No, it can't be. Is Jason Voorhees too overpowered? Do you think Jason is too OP? Well, Hamza, luckily for you, that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. Yo, what is good, Fry Nation? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Mr. Fryman himself, and today what I have for you all is another brand new Friday the 13th the game video. Topic of today, is Jason Voorhees too overpowered? To some, this question is debatable. To me, there is only one right answer, but before I get into my opinion, let's take a look at the Friday the 13th franchise. Anyone who has seen a Friday the 13th film would know, a good majority of the characters you see in the beginning normally don't live to see the light of day in the end. Now the reason for this is, Jason Voorhees is a mean bean killing machine. He's not your average Build-A-Bear Workshop teddy bear, you know. If you think about it, he's basically a zombie version of the Terminator, only you don't want to come with him if you want to live. As a matter of fact, if you do run into him, face the opposite direction and run away as fast as you possibly can. I'd say the only thing Jason Voorhees and the Terminator don't have in common is one of them is a robot and the other one is... Oh, wait, never mind. Basically what I'm trying to say is Jason Voorhees is a killing machine and that's exactly what he does is kill. He kills in the film and he kills in the game. That's his role, that's what he does. Now a good majority of the players that are complaining that Jason is too OP are the players who adapted to the broken underpowered Jason. Now what happened was a couple updates ago they basically made Jason Voorhees unplayable to the point where he just it just wasn't fun to play as him and it just made it super easy to either escape or survive the night as a counselor. Only recently did Jason Voorhees get fixed in the game with just a couple of upgrades. Only two I might add. Just two. Those upgrades being two additional throwing knives and just a little speed increase. And players are complaining that he's too hard to play against. Really? Now a lot of people are saying it's a bug and Jason's gonna get fixed again, but no, this is intentional. The developers meant for Jason Voorhees to be overpowered. That's how it's supposed to be. How fun would it be if every single match you were escaping and surviving or killing Jason? That's obviously gonna get boring. Like I mentioned in the beginning, not everyone is going to live to see the light of day in the end. It's just, it's just better off that way. It's just like the films. Jason is overpowered for a reason. It's just not fun if you go into a match expecting to bully Jason and not be afraid of him. You're supposed to be afraid of Jason. And now what you all came here for is, do I think Jason Voorhees is too overpowered? My personal opinion is no. I think Jason Voorhees is perfectly fine just the way he is as of right now. The real question here is, are the counselors too underpowered? It's not about Jason. It's all about the counselors if you guys really think about it. It's not Jason's fault he's too OP. The developers intended for that. But is it the counselor's fault that he's too OP? Maybe they don't play the way they used to. Anyways, we'll save that for another video. Stay tuned. Wink, wink. That's about all the information I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for checking out this video. And if you did like the video and you're new to the channel, go on ahead and subscribe because I do upload weekly Friday the 13th the game videos just like this. As always, my name is Christian Fry and I'll see you all in the next video. Now, a lot of people are complaining he's too OP now because for a while he was broken and I guess some players adapted to the broken Jason that was very underpowered basically making it easy for you to either escape or just survive the night period so i need to save that i need to play that and put it on 